Hello, I'm Bo Goldie, CEO of the Santa Clara Valley Water District. This video is to provide you with straightforward factual information on the district's groundwater management program and the services to ensure you have clean, reliable supply of drinking water. From protecting the groundwater basin to buying water from the Sierra snowpack, there is a complex system that brings water to your homes, ranches, farms, and businesses. You'll learn more about that system in this video. I wanted to take this opportunity to assure you that we are committed to providing you a cost-efficient supply of clean, reliable water for your homes and businesses. I know that this is especially important during these difficult economic times. As a responsible agency, we continue to look for ways to reduce costs of services without jeopardizing current and future reliable supplies of water. We know that a sustainable supply of water is essential for protecting property values and the recovery of Santa Clara County from the current economic condition. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you find it informative and educational. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Contact information is available at the end of this video. In this video, you'll learn what services groundwater production charges pay for. Those services include protecting the groundwater basin from contamination and overdraft, replenishing the basin to ensure there is enough water for all families in Santa Clara County, operating and maintaining infrastructure, and water conservation and water recycling to help reduce demands on the basin. I'm Vanessa De La Piedra, Senior Water Resources Specialist. I'm going to explain how the district protects groundwater quality and ensures adequate supplies are available to meet the community's needs. Historically, this county experienced land subsidence when too much water was pumped from the ground. Parts of San Jose sank about 13 feet over a long period, causing hundreds of millions in damage due to the need for increased flood protection programs and impacts to infrastructure. The work that we do helps to ensure that this will not happen again. Because groundwater is such an important local resource, we work hard to sustain and protect the groundwater basin. Each year, the district samples water quality at about 100 wells, testing that water for over 100 different chemicals that can impact water quality. To assess general groundwater quality and identify potentially negative trends, the district analyzes water quality from these wells and over 200 wells owned by local water suppliers including retail water agencies that deliver water to homes and businesses. The district also permits and inspects wells because improperly constructed or destroyed wells can allow contamination to move downward, damaging our drinking water aquifers. Last fiscal year, the district permitted and inspected nearly 1,700 well construction or destruction events. The district also monitors groundwater levels at over 200 wells each year to evaluate how much water is stored in the groundwater basin. To ensure the district recharge program is adequate to avoid further land subsidence, the district also monitors the land surface elevation at over 200 locations. In addition to these monitoring efforts, the district also conducts planning to determine the best way to operate our facilities and evaluate the need for new investments to ensure a reliable water supply both now and in the future. I'm Jeff Micko. Water Supply Operations Planning and Analysis Unit Manager. I'm going to explain how the water district replenishes the groundwater basin. The district manages an extensive countywide network of local reservoirs and diversions, conveyance and groundwater recharge facilities, water treatment and distribution facilities, and local aquifers to make supplies available to groundwater customers. Facilities include 10 local reservoirs, 102 percolation ponds, and 90 miles of streams to replenish the groundwater basin and 18 miles of canals, 160 miles of high and low pressure pipelines, three pumping plants, five water supply diversion dams, clarification facilities to clean water before it percolates into basins, and fish ladders and fish screens per, for protection of aquatic species. Collectively, these facilities convey local and imported water supplies at a rate of up to 150 million gallons a day to the county's aquifers, which are used for water supply. Total annual production averages about 35 billion gallons per year. We don't get enough local rainfall to meet all of the county's demands. Therefore, we contract with both the state and the federal governments to bring water in from hundreds of miles away, the Sierra snowpack. This is done at a cost of about $40 million per year. Both sources are needed to supply the population and sustain the economy in Silicon Valley. 
I'm Ray Yep, Division Manager for Water Utility Operations and Maintenance. I would like to explain how the Water District's infrastructure is operated and maintained. Our imported water is brought in from the South Bay Aqueduct and San Luis Reservoir. Depending on the time of year and water supply conditions, these are mixed with local water from Anderson and Claro Reservoirs. The water is delivered through more than 100 miles of pipelines and tunnels to our groundwater recharge facilities and our three water treatment plants. The treatment plants allow direct delivery of water to customers, which reduces pumping from the groundwater basin. After undergoing treatment that includes chemical addition, clarification, filtration, and disinfection, the water is piped to six cities and two private water companies. Groundwater production charges pay for operating and maintaining the water infrastructure. Some of this infrastructure is over 75 years old and some need to be upgraded to meet new regulations. Some examples include rebuilding the 12 pumps, which are 2,000 horsepower each at the Pacheco pumping plant to improve pumping efficiency, and also inspecting and rehabilitating our 134 miles of raw and treated water pipelines, and constructing ozone treatment at two of our water plants to improve drinking water quality. Hi, I'm Janine Larrabee and I work in the Water Utility Planning Unit. I'm going to tell you about the water conservation and recycled water programs that are funded through groundwater production charges. The district has an extensive water conservation program, which is an important tool to reduce demands on the groundwater basin and meet our short-term and long-term water supply reliability goals. We offer free home surveys, rebates and incentives, and water-saving devices such as showerheads and faucet aerators. We typically complete over 2,000 home surveys a year through our WaterWise House Call program and issue over 20,000 rebates a year for various water conserving devices such as high efficiency toilets, washing machines, efficient irrigation equipment, and low water use plants. We also have similar programs designed for businesses and are working with local farmers to assist them in becoming more water efficient. During water shortages, such as the current drought, the district provides additional outreach, programs, and services to assist the public in meeting any short-term water use reduction goals. Most importantly, the district's water conservation programs help residents and businesses save water and money and help the district to ensure our groundwater basin is protected. The district is expanding recycled water to reduce pressure on the county's precious groundwater supplies because recycled water can be used for irrigation and industrial purposes, saving groundwater for drinking. We are currently collaborating with the four recycled water producers in Santa Clara County and are involved in many recycled water projects throughout the county. One notable project is the construction of an advanced recycled water treatment facility that will produce highly purified recycled water that can be used for a wider variety of purposes. This advanced recycled water treatment facility is a joint project with the City of San Jose and the District and will demonstrate a proven technology locally so that it will be available for all future recycled water uses. To summarize, Recycled water is a reliable, drought-proof, and local water supply source that protects our groundwater basins and helps maintain our economy, environment, and quality of life. We hope you found this video helpful in learning about your water supply and how the coordinated use of groundwater and local and imported surface water meets the needs of the community. Please contact the district if you have any questions.